What are going on everybody? Today we're heading into one of the biggest foodie events of the year. This is Kingston Kitchen. Over 80 vendors, bakers, restaurants, stars, food lovers, food adventurers. It's a link up of epic proportions. We're going to head in and try some of the best food that Jamaica has to offer all in one location. Soccer for roast conch and here at Rivers, River and Seafood Fiesta, them have that roast conch roasting on the fire with a huge pot. The whole tent smells like seafood. You smell the soup, you smell the conch, and it just calling you right away. One of that roast conch, please, are the fire bubble up over there, son? Yeah, man, I saw conch, roast conch, look, the fire actually roasts. Yeah, good. It looked very good. It smells very good. Well, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. I'm sure I will. I'm going to give you some extra nuts. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You can see that them spice it up. There's okra in there. There is pepper. Oh, there we go. Scotch bonnet pepper is a mox. Onion and that okra and the, the, the conch itself looks very tender. It looks like they tenderized it. They did it through some sort of tenderizing process. There's a little char on the bottom of that. So that flavor just adds that little hint of conch onto it. And once you, once you get that and get right down into it, the steam is coming off of it. It's fresh off the fire. It's hot. It's savory. Tender. Very, very nicely seasoned. Not salty, but nicely seasoned where you're still getting that conch flavor. You're getting that pepper. You're tasting the okra which is adding to it and you're getting hints of scotch bonnet pepper from that seasoning. How is it? Hello, it's really good. Hope you enjoy. I'm enjoying. You can find us at um, river underscore seafood on IG. On IG? Oh, hi. All right. <laughs> they Here? can find us at river underscore seafood on IG. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers yes. to this. It was made a lot of love. I can tell. So, okay. Even the spice okay. nice. Okay. A little pepper, a little onion, a little so okra. We're going to have king crab and stuff later on so you can rally back. Well, just draw me a chair, man. Just give me a chair. The perfect thing in this heat. A nice saucer. That mango tango looking right. Our mango strawberry. Yes, that looks good. Oh, I'm definitely. Is this copyright? Thank you, man. Oh, my God. Oh, that's perfect. No, man. This coming like when you're a little youth and you go to school and then put it in a bag and, and, and tie it up and the music call it Stock Sock. Yo, no, man. This bad. I got mango with an island mix up. The mango tastes like mango. The island mix up tastes like the island. And it's not too sweet. That's the best part. But. Sweat, ice, best thing, shade. Can I try that French fried crab, please? Yeah, let's see what that is. That does look interesting. Thank you. Got the pepper up on that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that's a French fried job.
Turkey crab seafood just came out with some stuff. Under there, they have crab, they have lobster, they have shrimp, they have what is called French fried crab. And it's drizzled with, it has a drizzle of chili on it. Thank you for getting your sponsor. Mm. Wow. Lasco, a great Jamaican Fried crab with a seasoned butter. That's been Thank deep fried. So very nice though. That. Very different, very unique, very flavorful. Your country French fried crab. Again, like the Always can find some different country, type of things out here. We don't see food so far. Two seafood. We have to find some other things though. Out of many continues again, so we're hitting up Swarma. We're having Swarma. Swarma is a popular street food that originated in Turkey that's made with spit roasted layers of either lamb, chicken, all sorts of meat that you can just spit roast on that fire and they shave it right off. It's like a Middle Eastern like a Middle Eastern burrito. Think of it that way. Mm. So fresh, clean. It's very nice. It's very good. So it's usually wrapped in or served with pita bread. So that pita bread has a warm flavor that surrounds it and hugs that meat that is in. What we're having is chicken and it has the flavors and authentic Middle Eastern traditions with something that's similar to crema that's just poured on top with fresh vegetables. You have the lettuce in there, tomato, red onions, and the chicken that was rotating and just split roasting on that flavor. Oh, sorry, I just lost my balance. Okay, so hi, we're with Cannonball Cafe. Uh, my name is Karen. Today we are at the Kingston Kitchens having this a fantastic time and we are serving today our hand baked. We have our chicken and cheese and we have our cataloo and cheese hand baked and, our, and everything is made fresh. We baked them all this morning. So, and it's the chicken and cheese is with um, chicken breast and uh, a cheese sauce with some sweet peppers and some onions in it. The um, cataloo and cheese is a, again, freshly chopped cataloo, not frozen with uh, again a cheese sauce with some um, uh, onions and sweet peppers in it all right it does not have any hot pepper in it because it's easier to add pepper than it is to subtract pepper all right we also are serving our mac and cheese which is our basic homemade mac and cheese no frills no fuss and it's so good all right and you can add bacon onto it if you wanted to either turkey bacon if you don't eat pork or a regular smoked bacon and then the last one that we are doing today is our mini steak and cheese sandwiches we use 100% beef fillet, locally beef, and we have our caramelized onions, and we have uh, with uh, mozzarella cheese on it, and it is it is um, in a little hoagie bun. So, and all of these items that you can get at our Cannonball Cafe. <laughs> from Cannonball. You look in there, it has onions. Those onions look like they've been caramelized and the steak looks really nicely seasoned. The bread is soft. You know I'm a sucker for a cheese steak. This is a steak sandwich. Mm. Really nice, good flavor. The sweetness of those caramelized onions popped out. The bread is nice, it's fresh. As I said, everything is baked today. Mm. Come on. This is a creamy chicken bake with puff. Hmm? <laughs> creamy chicken bake with puff pastry. Oh, it's chicken breast. So you know chicken breast can be tricky. 
but it really is moist and cooks well and that cream sauce just add an extra layer of flavor this though this puff pastry it's the right thing it's the right thing to do this is what you say which is right puff pastry just brings that soft texture that flaky crust and just wraps that creamy pastry around the chicken the onion the cream sauce and socks it right up mm, wow cannonball we're hitting all the right spots so back at cannonball cafe we have drinks here as well and what we're serving today is a mango ginger lemonade again freshly made and if you feel like it you can you can put in a little shot of rum in there just to make the night a little bit more interesting. Always, right? interesting always, always. And the other thing that we're doing is our new Bobo's, which is our um, pop and chocolate cafe, right? Which is a coffee with chocolate pearls in it. Oh my God, that is so good. And it makes life a little bit more interesting with those popping pearls there. Okay, and again, you can add a shot of rum, and rum into that if, if you'd like. Oh my God! No. 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 Bring that back right here. Bring that back right here. This. That. That. This. Let's just stay right here. Let's just calm everything down and stay right here. Oh my God. Wow. This is Bombay mango flavor. This is ginger and this is lemonade in there. And it is, oh my God. We've got some music for you this time. Let me get started with this one. Watch, watch. Monday, sorry, we're going to buy another one. There is some. So I can't have any? One chicken bake. I need more. I need more. You can have some, but no, I need I need like two of those. Them say once is nice, you do it twice. And we did it once, we do it twice, we're doing it three times. Once, twice, three times the lemonade. Bombay, ginger, and lemonade. Gosh. My name is Rebecca. I have a small business of once a week again. I do baked goods, specifically cakes. Um, today I'm at Kingston Kitchen and I have baklava. I have cookies, my best selling thin and chewy chocolate chunk cookies. Um, I have a bunch of sweet treats. So let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram at until we underscore eat again. I'm not really a lover of sweets, but I'm a sucker for a cookie. So until we, until we eat again, they have a soft chocolate chip cookie. And that's right up my alley. Mm. Oh, that's nice. What I really enjoy about this is not too sweet. The dough itself is something that you could just mix up and eat and taste. And the chocolate chip is what giving it that sweetness. The chocolate is rich. Mm. And it's not too chewy or soft. But it's just perfect. Perfect bite, perfect taste. Really, really nice cooking. Until we eat again. I love that. Check that out. Check them out on Instagram. Welcome guys, Wood and Water Brew Works here. Jamaica Brew Works on Instagram, if, if, that's, if that's your thing. Um, we've got some beautiful draft IPA here. Delicious. Awesome. Out of a custom Pinto Pottery mug. So you know it's gonna be a good time. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So how long have you been doing this? I started brewing in 2018, back in California when I was still living in the States. And when I came home, something I always kept on the back burner and I said, you know, I want to do this for Jamaica. Jamaica has no craft beer 
um, in any major sphere and uh, Montego Bay is the place to do it. So Definitely. Jamaica Brew Works, uh, Wood and Water Brew Works and the whole idea behind it is anywhere in the world you can get a great craft beer and Jamaica just somehow fell, fell behind. We have great beer in general, you know, we have Red Stripe, we have all of our Heineken, our Let's not Guinness. talk about that. We don't have to plug them, <laughs> we don't have to give them no plug, but I'm saying we do yeah, have we beer. Do have and so beer. the fact that we have beer, why don't we have craft beer? Why Very isn't sure. craft beer in every bar in Jamaica? Why don't they have a little draft keg set up? I agree. And some great draws available for Jamaica. Um, additionally, my uncle David Pinto, he does these beautiful uh, custom beer mugs. So I said, you know, if you're going to be making them i might as well try to sell a few at kingston kitchen happy to be here happy to be showing off what we got okay so out of the draft which one do you think that you'd recommend for me um uh, between the tangerine and the citro for someone who is um, I like having the, our first craft beer the first craft beer yeah probably the tangerine okay a yeah, a a you yeah, for sure no, 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 that one's on the house. No, man, we have no, to support. No, we no, have no, to support. That one's on the house. We have to support. No, no, <laughs> oh, I really like it. It's good. Yeah. yeah. You see her? I can't believe you made this. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for the support. Um, I'm in a Honeybun Foundation right now, and one of my cohort, who, you know, they had an advisory group. She actually made these signs and oh, the bottle opener, bear coaster. Oh, so that's cool. You pop your that's beer. real. That's real cool. That shot still. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked, right? Very wicked. I support the sentiment exactly. Why don't we have more in Jamaica? We have we have good beer, but we can have great craft beer. And this is something right up my alley. When I fly to Miami and do films or do videos there. One of the places I stop, I usually get what's called a dirty blonde, which is very similar with, t with citrus flavors, which just like the tangerine. But the thing with that is it don't taste like this. This is a lot more flavorful and on a hot day like this, nothing like Real better. tangerine sure. peels in there, yeah, man. man. Real tangerine. Delicious Jamaican craft beer. Mm. Thank you, man. That's really good. <laughs> I applaud that for sure, man. Hats off to that. I tip my hat I to you, which sir. hat I'm wearing, you know. <laughs> From a little craft lady down in St. Elizabeth, you know, yeah. Mabel. Nice. See them. I like them. <laughs> Turn celebrity, you know. Buy it in a cookie. And so the cookie crumbles. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah man, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> This has been Kingston Kitchen. Thank you to all the promoters of this event. This is really, truly a special event where people of all sorts, all walks of life of Jamaica, foodies can unite, different type of pastries, chefs, restaurants, foods, just food lovers in general can come and have a place to enjoy different type of foods. There are a lot more stalls that are there that we didn't get to feature. My belly almost full, can you believe it? I drink three more lemonade a while ago. And it's been just a great experience, a great adventure. Thank you to everybody from Kingston Kitchen, the people that organize this A-class event, one of a kind stuff. And I look forward to it. This is, this is like one of my must-dos on my yearly event calendar now. So thank you to everyone. And as always, big up, one love, stay safe. You and me never supposed to be We walk the long road